Hi and welcome back to my YouTube automotive channel. Today I have a 2013 Ford Taurus SEL all-wheel drive and I will talk about uh, all the safety recalls issue, issued for these vehicles during the last couple of years. I will have to record this video while I'm sitting inside because it's just uh, too windy outside. Um, so basically a safety recall is issued by the manufacturer, in this case Ford, or by the NHTSA if there is a safety concern on the vehicle which might endanger the passengers, such as uh, something breaking, catching fire, airbags not activating or something like that. These are just a couple of examples. What is important to mention, every safety recall will be fixed for free by the dealer. So that means uh, if you have an opened uh, and unfinished safety recall, definitely call the local dealer and get it done as soon as possible. To find out if you have any open recalls on your Ford Taurus, you can write down the vehicle serial number and go to a local dealer or, or call your local dealer and they will give you all the information. You can find your serial number on the sticker right here. If those numbers are not visible, the other location would be just at the bottom of the windshield right here. There is your serial number. Third option is you probably have it in your vehicle certificate or registration. So in this video, like I said, I will cover all the safety recalls issued for a 2013 Ford Taurus SEL all-wheel drive. Now, if you have like a 2014, 15, uh, you might have some different recalls because typically recalls are tied to a specific year and the, man and the manufacturer date. So, like I said, this, this is for a 2013 Taurus. Most likely, most of the recalls will be the same, but you might have some other recalls if you have a bit newer or older Taurus, but to check on those, just give uh, your local dealer a call. Okay, the latest recall was issued on February 10th, 2020, and the title is Rear Suspension Tollings May Fracture. So what that means, basically that part of the rear suspension called a toe link may, may get broken, fracture, and that will a result in a sudden change in vehicle handling and increase the risk of a crash. So if you have this recall opened, um, Ford uh, dealership will replace the tow, ring, the tow links for free and they will do the wheel alignment as well. Uh, this recall applies to Ford Tauruses made from 2013 all the way up to 2018 and it mostly involves uh, police interceptors or Tauruses with SHO package so that means the EcoBoost engine but I know for a fact that this Taurus I'm sitting in had this recall and it's not an EcoBoost so uh, yeah like I said call the local dealer and find out The second recall was issued on August 25th, 2016 and the title is Fuel Pump Malfunction May Cause Engine Stall. So this one basically says a loss of power to the fuel pump might cause the engine to stall or pre prevent the vehicle from starting and that could increase the risk of a crash. Um, <clears throat> So if I go a bit deeper into that, uh, what might happen, there is a component within the PEM, fuel pump electric module, which may overheat and that could cause a loss of uh, electrical power to the fuel pump and then the fuel pump might uh, cut the gas to the engine and your car could stall or shut down and that could result in a crash. If you have this one opened, it's very important you get it done. And this recall would also apply mostly to 2013 to 2015 this time for Tauruses or uh, police interceptors with the EcoBoost engine. But like I said, you never know and this is the very important recall to, to do. Uh. 
Next recall was issued on December 2nd, 2015. The title is Fuel Delivery Module May Crack and Leak. And this one applies only to 2013 uh, for Tauruses and for Taurus Police Interceptors. Uh, what might happen on this one? Um, the fuel delivery module may crack and that will result in fuel to leak. So the dealer will replace the fuel delivery module. <clears throat> if we go a bit deeper into, into this one, what might happen? Uh, fuel might leak and in the presence of any kind of uh, ignition source, a spark or whatever, it might start a fire. The following recall was issued on June 2nd, 2015 and it applied to a 2013 Ford Taurus and some of the 2011 and 2012 models as well. Um, what happens in this one? Uh, these Ford Tauruses have electric power steering uh, systems. So if uh, power, power steering uh, motor sensor goes fault you might lose the power steering and then the steering becomes very hard while you drive and that might result in a crash and this and this was actually the quite big recall it involved almost almost 400,000 uh, vehicles so basically your power steering could just fail in a second if you have this recall opened and it's very important you get it uh, fixed and diagnosed uh, basically what the dealer will do, they will check the power steering con control module for any diagnostic codes. If there are any codes, they will replace the complete steering gear. If there is no codes, uh, uh, history codes actually, then they will just uh, update and upgrade the, the software in your uh, module and that, that will take care of the problem. But like I said, this is an important one to do. The next uh, safety recall was issued on January 28, 2015 and the title is Interior Door Handle Return Spring Man May Unseat. Uh, this one applies to certain 2010 to 2013 Ford Tauruses and there was almost 200,000 affected units. Basically what happens in this one, if you get into an accident, in a side, in a side crash actually, the spring between the door handles may unseat and you might not be able to open the door from the inside and that's also a quite important one so uh, what the Ford will do they will inspect all of the four interior door handles and if there is one that's malfunctioning they will replace it Okay, next one was issued on July 2nd, 2014, and this one is quite nice if you have it. The title is Half Shaft Disengagement, Loss of Drive, Roll Away. This one applies to specific Ford Tauruses, uh, made from August 25th, 2011 to November 30th, 2013. Uh, and this is uh, part of the powertrain actually, and what could happen? The half shaft and the link shaft may become disengaged while driving. So that would mean there is no more power coming to the wheels and um, that increases the risk of a vehicle crash, definitely. Other thing what could happen, even if you are in the parking mode and uh, the parking brake is not applied, the vehicle may roll down. So basically you're losing your transmission, you don't have transmission at all so you, even if you're in park or drive or, or whatever doesn't mean anything because there is no power transferred and this is a major major I think even the biggest one and it, it didn't affect that many units only around 83,000 but like I said call the dealer, dealer make sure you're safe and they will they will take care of that for you Okay, I will go a bit deeper into this one as well because I think it's important. So basically what happens, uh, uh, the half shaft uh, retention clip has not been properly, properly installed and then the half shaft may move outward and disengage from the link shaft while you drive and without any kind of warning. 
that means you could drive and just all of a sudden lose the transmission and I mean still you can brake and stuff like that but you cannot accelerate and even if you stop and put the vehicle into the park mode it's gonna feel like you are you are in a neutral mode so in that case you have the parking brake I guess but anyways it's a major major recall Okay, next one was issued on May 29, 2014. The title was Water Intrusion May Cause License Plate Lamp Fire. This one is pretty straightforward. It applies to uh, certain models made from 2010 to 2014, to be precise, manufactured between November 24, 2008, all the way up to February 28, 2014. And what happens, uh, the area around the license plate lamps may, may corrode and that could result in electrochemical reaction and that could cause a fire. So the Ford dealer will replace the license plate lamp assemblies free of charge. Next one was issued on June 26, 2013. Title was Child Safety Lock May Become Deactivated. Now, this one didn't involve too many vehicles. It affected only four Tauruses made from November 29, 2012 to December 12, 2012. It affected only around 12,000 units, but what would happen with lots of uh, opening and closing the rear doors, the child safety lock may change from the uh, activated position to a deactivated position and that might be dangerous for the children driving on the back seat so the dealer will test the safety locks and replace if necessary and the last one i will mention and actually the first one issued for these vehicles was on may 31st 2013 title was fuel delivery module may crack and leak now this is a very similar to the one they issued a bit later a couple of years later um, what happens like i said in the previous one there could be a fuel leak and the fuel delivery module which at the uh, presence of ignition source may result in a fire now this was this applied only to certain 2013 models and basically the dealer will test the fuel delivery system and replace the fuel delivery module if necessary okay and these are the all of the recalls for a 2013 Ford Taurus like I said at the beginning I'll repeat it one more time not all of these recalls would apply to your Ford Taurus the way for you to check is write down the vehicle identification number you can find it on a sticker on the door or uh, under the windshield um, call the local dealer and they will have to give you all the information about it if you have any of the recalls open they will fix it for free for you also in the description of this video i will leave a link uh, to all of these recalls where you can see all the information i was talking about today and get a bit more details okay thank you for watching this video i hope it wasn't too long there was like nine recalls for these vehicles i hope this video was at least a bit helpful for you if it was please like it subscribe to my youtube automotive channel and give me your support